the Jason Tawney Show. I'm Joe Wombo, joined now with Jason Tawney, head coach of the baseball team. And, Coach, you guys round out the regular season with a couple of losses against Messiah, but uh, put a hurt on Frostburg State there. Talk a little bit about the offensive effort that you saw at Frostburg State. Yeah, at Frostburg, we came out uh, from pitch one, really. Uh, we start the game off with a triple and uh, ended up putting up 21 runs when it was all said and done. And a couple guys, you know, Kevin Kopis, his last game as a senior, mm-hmm. had six RBIs, ended up uh, just one RBI short of the – of the school record for a single season. Um, I think he had four hits. I think Billy Small had five hits, including a home run into the wind mm-hmm. to right field. I, I'm not sure that ball's landed yet. Um, yeah, we had a lot of guys that just had offensive explosions. It was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was, it was my kind of game, a lot of offense. <laughs> it definitely is your kind of game, <laughs> and something that you've been preaching all season long is you got a strong hitting team. And it came through fruition just a little bit too late. Yeah, it did. You know, the the Messiah series, we uh, we actually hit the ball fairly well in that series mm-hmm. as well. But, um, you know, the, the, our Achilles heel this year has been pitching, and, mm-hmm. and it, it's definitely caught up with us. But, uh, but, yeah, we hit the ball, you know, for the last couple of weeks actually fairly well. You know, going back even the week earlier against Alvernia, we scored quite a few runs against them. Uh, but, you know, hitting comes and goes. It was definitely mm-hmm. there on Tuesday. <laughs> you talk about it all season long as well. as You know, the, the team is pretty young especially in the bullpen and on the starting bump. Um, but talk a little bit about how excited as we are for years to come here. Yeah, we, we knew coming into this year um, that we were going to have a really young team. You know, the, the catch with this is we have very high expectations in this mm-hmm. program. We always have, and we hold our guys to a higher standard. We play a nationally ranked schedule. You know, there's some other teams, whether it be in our conference or other conferences, that, you know, they'll play, they'll play some pretty, pretty weak schedules. So we always play a really good schedule. Um, with that being said, with a young team, we ran into some bumps in the road. And honestly, as we look back and assess the season, um, we're not that surprised. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just, again, have high expectations. You know, the, the entire team, the entire starting nine on the field, um, in, you know, including our DH, we only had two seniors. Mm-hmm. You know, our top three starting pitchers are, are either sophomores or freshmen. Our top two guys out of the bullpen were a junior and a freshman. You know, so we have a very, very young team. Next year, we expect a lot out of these guys, and we're expecting to take that step forward. We have a larger senior class, mm-hmm. um, you know, and quite a few starters from that uh, from that class. So we expect a lot more out of the guys next year. But um, but yeah, this was this was a year where we knew it was rebuilding. We mm-hmm. knew we knew we knew that. But again, it doesn't mean we didn't think we should have finished in the top four and gone to the conference tournament. Right. And as the rebuilding years come, you you learn a lot about just playing the college brand of ball. Yeah. You know, that was one thing that freshmen always need to learn is you know pitching locations and uh fielding locations being in the right spot at the right time and and it's not just that it's also the off season it's Mm -hmm. also being strong enough to make it through a season we had a conversation with one of our freshman pitchers this year and we were talking about how you've never thrown this many innings in this period of time and uh and his comment was i've thrown over 100 innings and you know in a summer before and i'm like Mm -hmm. that's fine but you're going to throw 60 to 70 innings in two months yeah and that's the difference and so it's about keeping yourself strong throughout the season as well Mm -hmm. so next year coming back with these freshmen that were such important parts of our team this year uh, they'll have time in the weight room they'll be working with coach q and getting stronger you know hopefully uh they're listening to some of our nutritional uh, diets that we're trying to get them on Mm -hmm. um and in that way next year when we get into the spring They'll not only start strong, but they can stay strong and then finish strong, and that's that's the key. Well, uh, hopefully they'll be able to take care of the business in the off season, <laughs> and uh, we'll have a really strong season and seasons to come with the youth of the program. I think so. I think so. I think the the future is bright, mm-hmm. um, and also knowing the recruiting class is coming yeah. in, the future is definitely bright. <laughs> well, coach, I appreciate your time every week and uh, all the times and knowledge you've spent on me. Ah. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. He's Jason Tawney. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Jason Tawney Show.